Hi guys. Happy hashtag Motivation Monday. And uh, I'm jumping on today, as you can see. I, uh, I know everyone's getting ready for celebration, which we're all excited for. And I figured, uh, hi Zyla, hi Lisa, I wanted to jump on and give you guys uh, four ways to build your isogenics business using LinkedIn for business builders. And obviously a lot of us are using Facebook and Instagram for the product user consumer side, but it's just as important um, to have those people coming in for the opportunity as well. To have a balanced business is to have a great business. So if you're just jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from, please like or love the video. And if you could share this content, Suwani, how are you? Share this content on your personal pages, your team pages, so a lot of your team can learn from all of this. So I'm gonna go over four basic tips for those that have even are on LinkedIn and, and are doing stuff, but for those that aren't on LinkedIn yet, here are some great things that you guys can do. RJ, what's up? Lisa, great to see you. So just loving everyone that's popping on. Again, if you guys can like or love the video, share this in, into a team page or wherever you guys are. So I'm gonna go over four basic things that you guys can apply to your businesses right now, your isogenics business, or if you're not in isogenics and you're in another network marketing opportunity, another way that you can build your business using LinkedIn. So just very quickly, the two main things that people need to realize why they should be using LinkedIn, number one, instead of the 5,000 friends and connections were allowed on Facebook, you're allowed 30,000 connections on LinkedIn. Number two, the average income of the typical user on Facebook and Instagram is $30,000 a year or less. The average income of the average user on LinkedIn is $100,000 a year or more. Hi Heather, great to see you on here. So number one, one of the most important things that you can do to build your isogenics business or any network marketing business on LinkedIn is number one, make sure that you search for the mirror image of you, the mirror image of yourself. You're not looking for just anyone, you're looking for you. And the reason why you're looking for yourself is that this business is solely based off of rapport, relationship, and connection. You know, my background is in sports nutrition and personal training. So naturally, I want to and I am going to connect with more people that are just like me, other personal trainers, other sports nutritionists, other dietitians, other trainers, other gym owners, because when I share my personal story, it makes more sense to those people. Because nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, you are gonna hit some sort of pain point with those people. So if you're not a chiropractor, don't connect with chiropractors because you don't know what their life is. If you're a nurse, search and connect with other nurses. If you're an educator, search and connect with other educators. If you're uh, in, in accounting or you are a lawyer, whatever it is you're doing professionally outside of isogenics or your network marketing opportunity, you want your network filled with those types of people. Hi, Betsy. So what's up, Vin? If that all makes sense, please type a Y or a yes in the chat box just so I know everyone is clear. And again, guys, please like or love the video. Please share this content into your private groups because there are people out there that are not using LinkedIn, have no clue about it, still don't have a profile or have a profile but they're not optimizing it. And these are four very simple basic ways that you can jump on there right now today and start building your business on LinkedIn. So number one is always searching for the mirror image of yourself. Now, I will tell you this, you don't wanna to search too often. Uh, there are limitations to how many searches you can do on LinkedIn um, with the free version, which you don't need premium for. 
So just be mindful of how often you are doing your searches and, and, and the limit, they actually are changing. It used to be 10, it used to be 15. Now it's kind of sporadic depending upon uh, the person and the size of their network. Hi Monica, welcome. So that's number one. So for those that are jumping on now or on the replay, number one is always search for the mirror image of you. Number two, you wanna optimize, this is number two, you want to optimize the SEO of LinkedIn. Now, for those that don't know what SEO is, that is search engine optimization. So for those of you that also don't know, LinkedIn was bought out by Microsoft just about two and a half years ago. Microsoft is obviously a search engine optimization um, you know, technology type company. So it is very important to take advantage of all of the SEO that's involved with LinkedIn. And that means having a complete profile, uh, making sure that you are endorsing people for their skills and endorsements so they will endorse it back to you, asking for recommendations of people from your team or that you have worked with and vice versa, making sure that your profile is completely filled out. Because if you don't have a complete profile, when people are searching for certain things, you will not pop up on the search. The more complete of a profile that you have, the more things that you have on there, the better it's going to be for you. Just want to say hi to Monica, Kim, and Brad for just jumping on. So that's number two, is you want to optimize the search engine optimization of LinkedIn, the SEO. Number three, and this is important because a lot of people still aren't doing this, and it obviously took me a little bit of time to get into doing it as well, and that is also, number three, provide content daily. You want to make sure that you provide content daily. Now, people will always ask, well, what kind of content? I mean, if I'm just going to be honest, I'm going to say any content because people just aren't using it. But if you're in a solution-based company that provides transformations, I would say every once in a while, do a transformation. You know, do something that relates to your business. Uh, inspiration, positivity, something where you can give back to your audience. So many people have these platforms and they're doing nothing with them. But the way that LinkedIn works is that the newsfeed is so valuable, you just have to get into the routine of putting content out there to better the people that are in your networks. So if everything makes sense so far, type a Y or a yes in the chat box. So just to quickly review, three of the four things that we've gone over so far. Number one is search for the mirror image of yourself. You don't want to just, you don't want anybody, you, just, you want the mirror image of you. Number two, optimize the SEO of LinkedIn, so making sure your profile is complete. And number three, you wanna provide content daily. So again, if this is all making sense, why or yes in the chat box, just so I know that everybody is with me. Lisa says amazing content, yes, awesome. So again, these are three of the four easiest things that you guys can do right now to jump on board. So now, uh, number four, Hi Kelly, and the most important aspect of LinkedIn is the fact that your network, when all is said and done, can be six times larger than Facebook. And I'll say that again, six times larger than Facebook. Chelsea says, when I get the money, I will be in contact with you, so I'm excited. Thank you, Chelsea. Six times, I mean, comparing 5,000 connections to 30,000 connections, there is no comparison. So, you want to build a huge network. I went from 500 connections to 25,200 in just under two years. So, when I mean that you guys have the ultimate ability to really get some amazing things from this, 
I mean, it's, it's absolutely huge. So you have to work on connecting with people every single day, whether it's using the people you may know section, whether it's, it's searching for people. You can't do that on Facebook. You end up in Facebook jail. LinkedIn is a platform that wants you to connect with other people. With, and it's instantaneous. Most people are sitting back on Facebook just pumping content out, waiting for people to, to reach out to you. But here's the thing. There's, before we wrap, there's two things that you need to think about with network marketing. Number one, if you have a product user, obviously we're all looking to build a team. That product user, compared to the person that you're going to talk to for the opportunity first that starts with a product experience, is jumping into your business right away. So they're gonna start the IPAs. They're gonna start posting. They're gonna start talking to people. They're gonna start making a list. If you're just enrolling, if you're just enrolling product users, you don't know how long it's gonna take them to jump into the business if they ever want to jump into the business. Um, thank you, Lisa. She says, Scott gives you the content being in your zone, you can't go wrong. Exactly. So if you think about it this way, your team is not building as quickly as you want your team to build because you have a bunch of product users. So you know, obviously everyone's waiting for their first 30 days or their 60 days, but you have to have a two-tier lead system. You have to have people that are willing to jump in right away because that's where the business growth is going to happen. The business growth is also going to happen with your product users, but you're getting those product introductory bonuses, which holds us over in the meantime, but the residual income doesn't actually show up until you have a team of people building with you. So you need people that are willing to jump in right away, as long as the people that, you know, and, and you also need people running alongside of that that are happy product users that may eventually jump into the business. So why businesses in, in, in something like this grow a lot slower and why people get frustrated is because they're enrolling all these product users, but now you have to sit back and wait to see if they're even ready to do this. So you're enrolling all these people, but they may never ever jump into it. So if you have that in one area, but the other area you're actually working on growing your people to jump into the business right away, start with the products at the same time, that's how you see greater traction. If that all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box before I wrap up. Now again, the four things, again, that you can do right away on LinkedIn, go on there today, start something up. Number one, provide content daily. Number two, build a huge network, start connecting with more people. Optimize the SEO of LinkedIn. You wanna have a complete profile and search for the mirror image of yourself. This all works. It, it's, I can't tell you guys how important this tool is and a lot of people aren't using it. So guys, you know we have celebration coming up. Just remember, the events are always gonna be here and you are gonna come back fired up to build this business, you should be fired up every single day and you need two types of leads. You need product user leads and you need business builder leads and you need to do it ASAP if you really want this business to truly grow. So guys, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. Go out there and crush it. If you're afraid to get on LinkedIn, you're just holding yourself back. There's a whole door of opportunity waiting out there for you of people to connect with. Guys, enjoy the rest of this beautiful Monday, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, everybody.